I'm going to show you how to activate a low cut filter on uh, the X32 here. Uh, low cut filter is a simple term that just means you're cutting out the low frequencies uh, in the, in the, on the equalizer, but uh, you can kind of do it by itself, single button. So um, usually you'll want to do this uh, with a voice because with a human voice, you don't need the low frequencies like we're talking, you know, 100 hertz and lower sort of things. We don't need all that noise. Usually that just ends up being rumbly uh, room noise. We don't want it. Um, now with, say, a bass guitar, we definitely do not want a low cut because the bass guitar is playing in those low frequencies. We want to be able to hear that. Same thing with the, um, the kick drum. We do not want a low cut on that because the, the low frequencies on that is what ultimately, you know, drives a lot of the sound. Um, there are some kind of like in-between, depends on how you want to play it by ear sort of thing, uh, options with a low cut. For example, uh, a keyboard. A keyboard can play lower notes than a bass guitar can. So you might think, oh, we don't want the low cut because it plays low notes. But if you find that the low notes on the piano are um, like muddying up the bass lines, and they're like kind of stepping all over each other and it sounds like this big just wall of boomy low noise because um, the piano player's just going crazy up there with their left hand. Um, you might want to activate a low cut filter on the keyboard. It's totally up to you. Again, that's totally up to your discretion. To activate a low cut filter, I'm going to do uh, one of the vocal channels because that's often where you'd want to put it. Um, so you go to select, you got channel one, lead vocal, select that channel. And now all these things up top are controlling um, all these different parameters for the lead vocal channel only. Um, to do that, oh, look at that, it's already lit up. So the low cut is already activated for this channel. You can take off the low cut filter by pressing it, uh, but usually, like I said, you want the low cut filter on all the vocalists, really. Um, let's see, this knob here tells you exactly how many hertz uh, where that filter will become activated. So right now, it's set to, it looks like about 90 or 100 in that range uh, hertz. That's a great place for it to be, for a vocalist. Um, usually, for most male vocalists, you wouldn't want it much higher than that. If you put it up here, um, you're gonna hear, um, you're gonna, like their voice will start to sound thin, and they'll start to take out some of that resonance that, that you want in the lower frequencies. But usually it's pretty safe to say, you know, in this 90 to 100 range. That's great, that's a great place for it to be. Um, if you do wanna see the other, uh, like see what it looks like on the screen, um, just hit the view button and it'll view whatever is in this box. So um, I hit the view button over here and that just sends that patch, that section of the channel onto the main screen. So you can see the low cut filters activated I'm going to deactivate, activated, deactivate, activated. So um, it's kind of, it gives you a visual representation of what's happening over here. So let's just stop viewing that. And it goes back to the screen um, that it was on prior. And that's how you mess with a low cut filter. Um, one other thing that might be helpful with it, uh, sometimes acoustic guitars can start to sound boomy if you don't have a low cut filter activated. So if we select the acoustic channel, Oh, okay, it's on. Uh, it does have a low cut filter, but you'll notice it's not quite as far reaching up into the frequencies. Um, it's in like the more like the 55, 60, 65 hertz range, and that's fine. Um, if a guitar is sounding too thin and weak and you want to you know, thicken it up a bit, you can either uh, lower that so some of those low frequencies are getting through, or you can just turn it off entirely and see how it sounds. Use your ears, use your best judgment. Um, let's see. So that's the low cut frequency. One more thing I'll mention on this is the polarity. Um, I'm sorry, the, uh, no, yeah, polarity reverse. Um, this is not gonna be used very often. Um, it's only if you have some phase cancellation going on between two different channels. Um, it doesn't hurt to push the button. It won't hurt or break anything or make any pops. Um, so um, no harm, no foul, but you can usually leave this off unless you have two instruments or, um, two sound sources or <laughs> two microphones that are picking up the same sound, causing them to kind of cancel each other out. Um, you can flip one of them and that should reduce or eliminate the problem. So that's the, the polarity reverse. And that takes care of uh, the config and preamp section of the effects.